Well, hello. Finally gets the Saturday wrap underway. If you haven't seen this before, this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday, the 19th of March, 2022. And a reverent look back on my week. Work, beer, tech and things. Basically, lots of things. Background. Um, It's the first week back in work after Stroud and Gloucester. And my, he looks over here, my word of the week is hybrid. That's all I share. Hybrid working, hybrid this, hybrid that, hybrid the other. Or back to normal in some cases. Anyway. I saw on Twitter, and I can't remember who it was from, but hybrid working, a definition, but I can't even say it. Oh, by the way, Barry Island IPA. Thanks, Dean. Um, yeah, brains never really got the grip with um, craft. Um, hybrid working, driving two hours to work, to sit at the desk, to do an all-day Teams call, to drive home two hours. That's hybrid working. Irony there. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, anyway, it's not me because that's not what I do. Um, app of the week. When was it? I think it was Thursday. I had an email from my thermostat saying, your batteries are low. I have a hive thermostat. Um, probably about two years two years and a bit that's not bad going um bog standard all the duracells you know the four for two quid ones could do a lot worse um and thank you for the email and the push notification as well and the thing of the week from all directions and i know don't apologize for using it again. Counting my blessings. Personal, work, tech, all sorts of stuff. Things might be not that good at the moment, but for me, I could be in a lot worse situation. So I'm saying thank you very much. Um, I don't believe in the gods, but thank you very much to whoever for making my life not too bad at all. And looks out of window it's spring today it really is um there is a bit of a chilly wind but that's good for drying and um it's lovely and that's the change anyway um let's look at the week uh, started off last sunday um by me not planting potatoes i saw the weather forecast for the week ahead um We've got high pressure weather. Monday started with fog and coldness and such like. Even now, um, it's going to get up to about 14 or 15 Celsius today. Overnight, it might go down to one. I'm going to have a crack at putting the potatoes in anyway. Um, because midweek, warmer overnight. Sure, it was seven overnight. Um, which wasn't so bad, to be perfectly honest. <sighs> Spring, 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 spring. Um, some of the things I missed off last week's uh, on tech. Uh, after Apple's announcements of last week, oh, by the way, um, on Monday, a slew of updates, he says, scratching eye. Um, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, tvOS, watchOS, anything OS practically. Um and again, here's Apple, uh, the security updates in them as well. So even if you don't need the new facilities, do the updates anyway. But I forgot to mention, I was a little bit worried about the iPod Touch 7 being taken off the market. Uh, I have checked on their website. It is still there, which is good news. I'm going to keep back a couple of bob just in case they ever take it off, or they introduce a new version. Mine's about three years, coming up too old now, so battery issues. And since I do give it a hammering, I mean, a minimum of six or seven podcasts a day. Um, you've got to think about these things. Also, uh, renders of the uh, Pixel 6a 
got a 3A. Had it in May of 2019. Really need an update now. Um, the latest update, or the last two updates to Android 12, seem to be slowing it down a bit. And again, battery life and such like. Hmm. Oh, Umbral server. Fully synchronized with the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, did it in under a week, which is not bad going. Um, and I provisioned it with about £20 worth of Bitcoin today, which was surprisingly easy to do. Now I'm going to have to work out this channel's business and I'm fully up to speed. Um, Snowflake proxy working well. Seems to go quiet and then I get a lot of people on it. So there's some sort of algorithm controlling which one to use, to be perfectly honest. Um, to be honest, I'm really pleased with it. Really, really, really pleased with it. Um, it's my own server. And it's on the Lightning Network and that works really quickly. Ooh, talking of tech, had an email from Coinbase saying, ooh, your rewards for Algorand down to 0.45%. Um, and loaded them today onto the official Algorand wallet app on my iPhone uh, via Coinbase Pro, which is a lot cheaper. Uh, all happened within about five seconds. Uh, that's five seconds after I pressed the button and put the two-factor authentication in. Um, but impressed with that as well, which is really good. Okay, um, Monday. Yeah, well, with the thought of spring coming, off goes the heating, despite the fact it's rather nippy overnight. Uh, yeah, I'm on a fixed one until I think it's the end of September, and then it's going to just explode. So I'd rather make hay while the sun shines, which it is at the moment, and start saving a bit, because at the moment I can't see things getting any better. <sighs> You know, always best to be prepared, he said. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, downloaded the Zap wallet on desktop for various crypto. Um, might link it up to the Umbral. Mm. Uh, right, what else? Oh, yeah. Mornings. Here's the thing. Um, I think in the States, they're trying to get through that they stay on daylight saving time year round. Sure. It's getting lighter and lighter in the mornings and the clocks go forward next week. And it's always a great disappointment because my optimized departure thing loses out by an hour. British summertime. No, I just want Greenwich Mean Time all year round. That will do for me. Um, it is nice to be able to drive into work without having the headlights on. And it is the best time of day. Mm. Okay. Um. Right. Aldi. Two things. Aldi Jive, which are their Twixes. Um. I saw them in. There was uh, one of those Reach things, like Wales Online or Devon Live or something like that. They compared them all. Aldi Jives are Twixes. They're a bit shorter. They're much cheaper. They're probably the same thing. They taste exactly the same thing, and I like them. Plus the fact it must be spring because Aldi are doing compost. Tesco are also doing compost, but you need a club card to get the best price on it. So I got tons of it. Um, well, a couple of bags, to be perfectly honest. And they will be planting today. I've also got bacon, so there might be some bacon cooked out in the back garden. When I say might be, will be, definitely will be. Um... Council tax bill arrived. No sign of that 150 quid thingy to make things better and whatever, but probably because of sheer in Wales or such like. Yeah. Funny how that always goes up, but yeah, well, there you go. Um, And Xcode. I didn't mention this in the tech thing. They must be sending out deltas because every time they update Mac OS, they update Xcode. And I was within an hour or so, so that's a positive thing, he says. Okay, um, the Rona. With everything happening in the world, basically Ukraine and such like, the Rona had been on the back burner. It is coming back now. Funnily enough, the places where it's most prevalent, 
places like Hong Kong, Shenzhen, um, South Korea, Singapore, they're all big mask wearing areas. Hmm, he says with a big hmm. Anyway, um, uh, the coronavirus doesn't like UV light, and there's a lot of that around at the moment, so outside is best. Definitely best, anyway. Um, mentioned about my algo moving. I actually had some mint with my chips for tea one day this week. Um, growing indoors on the windowsill, they died back, but they are coming along now really well, which is more than can be said for my lemon basil. My spring onions going like the wind, but lemon basil, so far, no sign, which is a bit of a disappointment. Um, okay. Uh, Thursday was supposed to be spring. It rained in the afternoon. But I bought compost, and yesterday, definitely summer, came out of the tumble at lunchtime, and there was no wind, and the sun was warm, and it was really great. And got home, and as I mentioned, um, the Bitcoin blockchain was fully synchronized. See? Positive things. Very positive things. And this morning, pff, my wallet on there now has 20 quid of Bitcoin. Yay. If you're on Coinbase, transfer the stuff to Coinbase Pro and then transfer it out. Much cheaper. Um, that's my tip of the day. Um, oh, and um, Raspberry Pi works a treat. Really works a treat. So, um, thank you very much for watching, comments, etc. And if you're feeling peckish, jive, Twix, knockoffs in Aldi. <laughs> yeah, um, etc. Bye-bye.